welcome to a very special edition of Destination Central. We're here at Mystery Creek from the Camper Care Motorhome Caravan and Leisure Show. I'm your host Amanda Harper and we've got an exciting show for you. Don't you just love the idea of cruising around in a camper van? Now let's take a look at the lineup for today. First up is Life Unlimited, helping people gain control of their lives. Next is Marty's Panel and Paint to spruce up your beloved caravan or camper. Then head over to Jayco from Australia trying to show us Kiwis how to camp in style. Then Clevercare demonstrates their unique product. And lastly we finish off with Michelle Connell whom without her none of this would have been possible. Alright let's go exploring and find the team at Life Unlimited. For over 35 years, Life Unlimited have been helping people regain their lives with supporting services, physical aids and a unique product line. Tony, you have a unique product line and service. Can you tell me about the mobile store? Okay, so the mobile store came to be in 2013 and it largely helps make our four main stores in Hamilton, Rotorua, Tauranga and Gisborne accessible to the wider Waikato. So on any given day I could be anywhere as far north as to Kofata, down south to Tomaranui and we also venture into Rotorua in the Lakes District. Um, yes, yeah, so we even go to Matamata, um, small town, rural, coastal areas. Can Fano and family seek support for dependents and how do they go about this? Okay, so yes they can seek um, support any time. They can do that by ringing Life Unlimited 0800 008 011. You can find us online on lifeunlimitedstore.net.nz. What area do you cover, Tony? I cover from Te Kaufata all the way to Tomaranui and everywhere in between. So it's the whole of the wider Waikato region. And what is it that you specifically do? Okay, so we provide pop-up stores like we do here today at the um, Motorhome and Caravan Show. Um, I also do presentations to over 50s clubs, retirement villages, those sorts of things where people come as a group together and I set up what you see here today and we do product demonstrations, have morning tea, so people get to look at our products, get a feel for what they do and be able to um, make better choices about their needs. Do you find them quite successful? Um, absolutely, so we could have anywhere from 20 people to up to 50 people um, at the groups that we um, go to and often we find that um, not many people may have heard about Life Unlimited and once we do the product demonstrations um, people um, are then you know, amazed by what types of um, disability aids and products that we have. Tell me about some of the more quirkier products that you have here on display. Okay, so um, the little book trays, um, they are fantastic. So they sit in the lap, they've got comfortable beans on the bottom so they mould to the um, user's thighs. Um, they pull apart if you need to wash them, they've got some little um, bean bag um, balls in them. They're absolutely fantastic for sitting in front of telly, watching your um, TV, Coronation Street for me, but also um, I do my reports on them so you can use them travelling. If you're in bed convalescing you can also use them um, to have your dinner on. Um, people are also known to use them to, um, for reading the newspaper, magazines and doing Sudoku. Is your service just for people with disabilities? They're not, they're for anyone who might have um, a short term injury or a long term injury or illness. Um, even myself, I buy these things. We call them daily living aids because they are made to make our daily lives a lot easier. How do people know that you're coming to their area? Okay, so I have networks throughout the um, Waikato region and what we do is people can find us on the website, they can book us for a presentation or a pop-up store. How do people get in touch with you, Tony? Okay, so people can either ring my mobile phone. Um, most importantly, we tell people to, if they do have a computer, to visit our website and follow the link to mobile store, or they can ring our 0800 0800 008 011, and our lovely ladies at reception would be happy to put people through to me. Do your part by helping others and connect with Life Unlimited Store. 
stay with us. After the break, we catch up with Marty's Panel and Paint and Jayco Corporation. If you have no choice but to leave your beloved companion outside, then it might be time for a facelift. Marty and the team at Marty's Panel and Paint can sort you out. Marty, what are the fundamental principles you run your business on? I guess we're, we're built around customer service. We like to think that our clients have a good experience with us. So we, um, right from the minute they phone us to the minute their vehicle comes in, uh, we try and keep them up to date with everything that's happening. Um, in some cases we'll send emails with photographs of what we've actually done and where we're heading uh, right to the minute they pick up their motor home and with a big smile on their face with it looking like better than brand new. Um, we also have a big emphasis on our staff so I like to think that I have the best trained staff. Uh, we back that with um, the best product um, possible and so all the products we use are manufactured by Exalta, um, used to be DuPont. Um, that comes with uh, lifetime performance warranties in some cases, depending on the application. Um, we like to keep up with technology, so we use only the best gear, which helps speed us up, um, also makes life easier for my staff. Um, yeah, I think that pretty much covers everything. But the customer is the biggest thing. It is, it is where we're from. We like to make sure that when they leave, they've got a smile on their face. And we back that with if, if we have an issue, they come back with an issue, we like them to go away with that issue resolved. And yeah, so that's, that's high on our priority list. Over 20 years of servicing the industry, you must have some pretty memorable jobs. What is the most memorable one? Hundreds. <laughs> um, because our range is so wide, we paint trucks, buses, planes. Um, but a couple of things that have really stood out is we painted a, um, a bitumen layer for Higgins. So it came in all covered in tar and it left painted yellow. So that was a, a huge transformation. So that was one of them. Um, also, we've manufactured from nothing. Um, uh, a, a Ford and a Commodore and made them 5.8 scale um, out of fiberglass so we've made the, the, all the male plugs, the female plugs and the actual car and then painted it and that was turned into a race car series so that was probably one of the highlights so yeah. Do you use different applications to paint the surfaces? We do. Um, they're all very similar but they all have slightly different um, approaches and depending on whether it's fiberglass or, or aluminium or steel we, we use a range of different products but the end result product is always the same it's always the top of the line we only ever use the best product the top of the line top coat which goes over the pre coats and, and procedures what are the other services that you offer we fabricate we fiberglass, so we do fiberglass repairs, we do all smash repairs, we do all your general run of the mill um, panel beating. We also do custom paint work. Um, if, if, you, if it's a motorhome, and we paint all our own graphics, including the pin striping, uh, which that's probably a differential between us and our competitors. Most of our graphics have a pin stripe around them that is actually painted, not a sticker. What do we need to do to book in our vehicle and get an assessment done? Uh, you can ring us, you can email us, uh, you can look on our website and get all our details, go through and look at all our photographs that are on there. Um, our website is being changed over the next six months, uh, so we will have lots of different things on there that you can um, sign in and look at and uh, at that point you should be able to just come in online and contact us through our website. Um, or just call in and see us. Our yard is a park over property for all motorhomes, so um, we have people stay in our yard quite regularly. They come back every six months and we give them um, a, a speed wax and, and we do their repairs while, uh, uh, in some cases, they've actually slept in our, work, in our workshop. Unfortunately, with health and safety regulations, that's going to have to cease. Um, but yeah, the, the, our park over is, is used quite regularly. Thank you very much, Marty.
With a 20 year reputation to uphold, you're guaranteed the best from Marty's Panel and Paint. When us Kiwis think about Australia, it's usually pavlova, rugby or underarm bowling. Thankfully, none of these will apply to our next guest, Chris Hooper from Jayco Corporation. Welcome to New Zealand, Chris. Thank you, Amanda. How would you describe Jayco? Uh, Jayco is a family owned company um, established in 1975. So we're quite excited because we're celebrating our 40th anniversary this year. So very exciting times. Um, we're also being a family based or owned company. Um, we like to think of our customers as family as well. What are the key differences in your recreational vehicles? Um, at Jayco, we have what we call our endurance chassis. So it's a, a specialised chassis that we've developed ourselves. Um, it is 300% stronger than a normal box chassis type chassis. Um, so it just means our customers have peace of mind if they endeavour down a back road in New Zealand. So they know that their vehicle is going to be um, up, to, up to the scratch. Now there seems to be more and more people gravitating towards this kind of lifestyle. Why do you think that is? Absolutely. Um, one of those reasons is the fact that people are now a little bit nervous to travel overseas. Um, the other thing is holiday homes um, or beach houses are becoming quite expensive. Um, and the RV lifestyle, you know, you can have an RV, you can travel from one end of the country to the other and experience different sites and, and experiences I suppose. Now talk us through one of your standard vehicles. What do you think defines the RV lifestyle? Uh, well basically the vehicle that we're sitting in is our most prestigious vehicle. Um, it's our 25 foot silver line. Um, it has everything in it that you'd ever want, including front loading, washing machine, leather seats, air conditioning, uh, TVs, DVD players, external entertainment, you name it, it's got it. Now, Jayco is based in Australia and we're in New Zealand. How do we see your vehicles here? Okay, the best way to see Jayco recreational vehicles in New Zealand would be either a trade show, like we're at at the moment, um, or going to one of our four dealerships scattered around the country. And is there any specific age or demograph that get into this type of accommodation? Um, it used to be, not so much anymore. We've now got young families coming into the market, so they'll start in your camper trailers um, and work their way up through the product range, um, all the way through to the product we're sitting in now, which is a 25 foot silver line with the, with the bells and whistles. Yeah. And what do you enjoy most about working for Jayco? Um, well, where do I start? <laughs> um, you're selling people a lifestyle. You're selling them enjoyment. You know, I can't say I've ever had a bad day at work and every morning I wake up and I'm excited to go to work. And you get to travel to New Zealand? Absolutely. Yeah. Will you be back again this year? I will be. I'll be back in a couple of weeks. What's your favourite part of this particular vehicle? I'd have to say the club lounge we're sitting in at the moment. Um, with the TV on the wall over there we can kick back, especially if it's cold and wet outside, and enjoy a movie or two. And are you part of the camper van lifestyle yourself? I sure am. I've got two products of my own back home in Melbourne. Um, and yeah, love it. Every second weekend I try and get away. And how can people get in contact with Jayco? Um, the best way to get in contact with us would be either through Facebook um, or jump online www.jayco.co.nz. Jayco is Australia's most recognised brand when it comes to quality and affordable recreational vehicles. And I think I might just take this one home. Don't drive away, we still have Clever Care and Michelle from Classic Events coming up. If someone you love has a medical condition, meaning that you need to know where they are at all times and that they are safe and well, Maria at Clever Care can help you. Maria, you have quite a unique story behind Clever Care. Can you tell me about that? Yes, so I developed Clever Care, which was inspired by my parents' situation. Uh, my mum was taking full-time care of my dad, who's over 75 and has Alzheimer's, Parkinson's and diabetes. And she was taking care of him, reminding him constantly for his pills to be taken, to, for him to take his insulin. And she constantly always had to be there for him, so she was always worried. And that took a toll on her health and quality of life. But for my dad as well, um, his life became a bit isolated. Uh, two and a half years ago, inspired by my parents and with my background in technology, I had this idea and I took it to Tauranga Startup Weekend in September 2013. My team came in third place and uh, after 
meeting everyone and the feedback I got, I saw how many people this technology could benefit and I was determined to make it a reality. And so here we are today. What are some of the common excuses for people not wanting to wear a personal alarm? A lot of people don't like the look of personal medical alarms today. Um, it's not as discreet, there's a big red button on it, so they're quite self-conscious. They also don't really feel like it does much for them except when there is an emergency, so they're a bit hesitant to wear it. And also because it's quite restrained to working within the home, so it's not going to work outside when they're at the supermarket or in their garden, for example. Is this something that you would recommend for just people with medical conditions? No, not at all. I mean, I've started to use it myself, uh, just to remind me to take my supplements and have morning tea. Uh, but we've also got uh, brain injury people using it with their parents, and we've got elderly people wearing it. But also, we see parents using it for their children to keep tabs on where they are, to stay in direct communication with them. And also loan workers, so farmers, for example, that might be out and about uh, working by themselves. Clever Care has a number of features. Can you tell me about them? Yes, so with GPS and the device, loved ones can log into their dashboard and see the location of where their loved one is on a map. They can schedule and define custom reminders to remind their loved one to uh, take medication, to do certain tasks such as locking your door at night, attending an appointment. They can define uh, danger and safety zones so that they are notified when their loved one is not home at the end of each day or if they're walking too close to a riverbank, for example, like a dangerous area. And they're also able to set parameters so that they're notified if their loved one hasn't moved for two hours during the day, for example. That's probably something they want to be notified about. Another feature that we have is the 24-7 emergency alarm. And the advantage of that is that wherever they have 3G coverage, they can call for help. And it also works outside of their home, wherever they have 3G coverage. Have you had good feedback from customers? We've had some really positive feedback, people feeling really empowered and just relaxed and relieved and having peace of mind. How can we invest in one of these devices and find out more? Go to our website or give us a call on 0800 Be There and we'd be more than happy to answer any questions. Thank you, Maria. Peace of mind goes a long way, so inquire now to find out more about Clevercare. Big events like this one don't just happen on their own. We find out who's behind the making of the Camper Care Motorhome Caravan and Letter Show. Michelle, tell us a little bit about Classic Events. Well, Classic Events is actually a local event company that we run a variety of events. We run Balloons Over Waikato, which is an, an iconic Hamilton event. We also run um, the Great New Zealand Food Show, which will be held in May. And we run this, the Camper Care Motorhome Caravan and Letter Show. We run the Hamilton one and we run the Christchurch one in November and we're just running a new event in Tauranga in September called the Great New Zealand Outdoor and Leisure Show so that's a brand new event. Why is it important to have events like this one? I think it's great for the city and the region to have to have multifaceted events really it creates a vibrancy um, people would love things to do they love places to go and new things to see so it's about creating experiences is how we look at it. What is personally satisfying for you and your team when you're organising events? I think to get to a successful event delivery is really great. So you start at the ground roots when you start planning and then there's a lot of work that happens right throughout that time and to actually have a delivery at the end of a successful event is really rewarding. It's good to get to finally there. How do you determine a need to organise an event like this one? I think it's about research. I think it's finding a gap in the market that you think will work, um, which is what we, we, um, we try and do with all our events. So it's about then researching that, finding if there is a need, um, and if there is, through, um, through that, you're then, then pulling it together. You mentioned some of the other events you organise as well. Can you tell us a little bit more about those? Well, our next event is probably our biggest event, which is Balloons Over Waikato. So that's uh, an iconic event for the region. So that's end of March. And I guess the biggest part of that's the, um, the night glow, which is huge. Um, we follow on in May, 22nd to 24th of May, with the Great New Zealand Food Show. And that will be here at Mystery Creek Event Centre, and it's its second year. Um, so we're really excited about that show. We've got celebrity chefs and um, master chef and MKR contestants, so it's really great. Um, then we've got our new show, which is the Great New Zealand Outdoor and Leisure Show in the bay, in, at the Mount at the ASB Arena. Um, and then we're down to Christchurch for the Camper Care Motorhome Caravan and Leisure Show again down in there in November. 
So it's a busy year. How do you think that this one's kicked off? Great, we've had a great start. We've had a really big day, great crowd through this morning and, um, and or today, so it's a really good start to, because Friday can tend to be a quieter day, but, uh, but not today, not this weekend, so it's been really good, really positive for the weekend. And where can we go to find out more about Classic Events? You can go to www.classicevents.co.nz and on there is a list of all the events that we do and, um, and it, lists, um, it lists those and you can actually go into those at individual event websites. So many exhibitors and the great team of Classic Events in control. I'm free to relax and enjoy the rest of the expo. Ladies and gentlemen, that is all from us today. The crew and I are absolutely knackered, but we've had a great time filming here at the Camper Care Motorhome Caravan and Leisure Show. We will be back with a whole other show here at the expo. My name is Amanda Harper. Ka kite. This has been an Alpha Media Production, a division of Television Media Group.